In this budget challenge, I will aim to find equipment for a vocal group and document my research to provide some context as to the cost of purchasing equipment for a self-sustained vocal group. I will use my current knowledge and experience as a music technician to justify these items in this video and challenge myself to undercut the total cost. This video is not intended to be an absolute guide to buying equipment for live performances. It's mainly an exercise for me to investigate the total cost so that from this research I can invest in equipment for a vocal group that I'm a part of. For this video I'm going to pretend I'm starting from scratch with nothing with the aim of making everything as portable as possible without worrying about money for the moment. I'm sure there are better alternatives to the gear in this video so if you have any suggestions leave them down in the comment section. I'd love to hear your ideas. There are eight members in the vocal group. Five vocalists and three instrumentalists, with me playing guitar and singing at the same time. The three instruments are guitar, keyboard and violin. It's my goal to create a self-sustained group that can handle everything from a performance standpoint. This includes setting up and pack down. For example, if a client asks us to sing for a birthday party, this group should be able to do everything without any additional technical requirements from the client. This gives the customer the peace of mind of not worrying about the technical side of things, while also allowing the group freedom to craft and have control over their sound. The gear needs to facilitate six vocalists and three instrumentalists, and should include everything they need to perform in a small to medium venue. Cost of travel, food and other expenses are not included in this video, as this video is mainly about the performance technology and gear that is required. All equipment must be from a respected manufacturer and not secondhand, for part one at least, just to get an estimate of the cost. Although the group may already have instruments and other equipment for performing, I will be ignoring this too. So without any further ado, here's my priority list. Number one, mixer, microphones, PA speakers, cables. Two, power cables, extension leads, and instruments. Three is storage. Four, monitoring. That's either in-ear monitors or wedges. Five, speaker, microphone, and music stands. Six, redundancy equipment. There are obviously more things to consider such as power conditioners, DI boxes, velcro organizers for the cables, amongst other things. But this is my simplified list of the essentials to keep this video brief. So number one, mixers, microphones, PA speakers and cables. I've chosen a digital mixer for this group for the number of inputs we'll need and for its portability. This will also allow us to record our performances for feedback and promotion purposes while also allowing us to save presets for quicker setup. For a long time, we've used an analog console which is still very reliable and easy to use, but incredibly restricting in terms of onboard effects and its portability. This limited our ability to craft sound at a deeper level, and as it was a shared mixer, we constantly had to reset the faders and EQ controls, which took a valuable time. Digital mixers solve this by allowing scenes or presets to be stored and recalled, and overall I feel are more versatile. This allows the group to craft their own sound and create an accurate representation of their sound to be promoted for clients. With that being said, analog versus digital is a huge debate, with each having its own advantages and disadvantages. But for this group, I'm sticking with digital. For vocal microphones, I've chosen six SM58s. For the instruments, two SM57s and a pair of small condenser microphones. The SM58 and SM57 series microphones from Shaw are extremely durable and have been the industry standard for live and studio recordings for a long time. There's also something to be said about the Shaw brand as it comes across as professional and experienced to clients. For cables, I've chosen nine six meter long cables, as I feel it's an adequate length to be portable and provide good stage flexibility. Two jack to jacks are for the piano for studio recording and two 20 meter XLR cables for the PA system. For the PA system, I've gone with the Sub-Zero P15X Active System for its portability and for the Sub, I've chosen the Ultra Professional TS15S 15-inch Active PA Subwoofer. For starting out, we probably could do without the Sub as it may be an unnecessary investment, but I've included it as the Sub helps create a fuller sound. Power cables, extension leads and instruments. For the power cables, I've chosen two 5 meter power cables or kettle leads for the left and right PA system. The PA system we buy will probably come with some power cables, but in case they are not provided or are too short, I've chosen to buy some separately. I've also chosen two 5 meter extension leads and two 10 meter extension leads to further provide flexibility and power sources for our equipment. Instruments. As I said in the intro, we've got a guitar, a keyboard and a violin. Storage. Through working as a music technician, I found that a well organized storage system is the key to reducing setup and pack down times. The really useful boxes company has modular storage boxes that are clear. This is important as it makes it easier to identify what's inside any box, which further speeds up setup. 
I've chosen two big 84 litre and several 9 litre and 4 litre boxes for various things. This should be enough to store our gear in a somewhat organised manner. I'm imagining that I will store the cables in the big 84 litre boxes while microphones and other shorter cables will go either in the 9 litre or 4 litre boxes. Monitoring. For some shows, this may be an unnecessary investment as having someone who can lead the group or be the conductor can help everyone keep on track and assist with timing. However, I've chosen to include both wedges and wireless systems in this video, but I will only choose one system for the group. It's important to emphasize that this is a very subjective category as some performers may not prefer in-ear monitors, while having wedges may not be practical on a small stage as it could create feedback problems. It will take some experimenting to figure out what the performers prefer this makes it difficult to choose a definitive system, so I've included them both. I personally prefer in-ear monitors as they are more portable and eliminate feedback issues on stage and while combined with the digital mixer, allow great control for the performer over their mix. Speaker, mic and music stands. For the mic stands, I've chosen to go with the KNM series boom stands for the incredible build quality. Eight mic stands for singers, violin and guitar and a set of five music stands and two PS stand speakers from Gravity. For redundancy, I've got two XLR cables and two jack jack cables. I've also got an earphone set in case one goes out. Finally, some spare strings for the guitar and violins. I feel that we probably won't need to worry about the equipment for the next five years or so, as all the equipment is of high quality and if taken care of, it will last for more than that. This is the total cost for each category. If I'm honest, I'm not sure what to make of it. I was surprised by the cost of instruments as I was expecting this to be a lot lower. I also think that the monitoring category is very personal and with so many options on the market, it will be interesting to see which route I take. Now, at the start of the video, I said I would challenge myself to get the gear we need under a certain amount. Well, that number is a thousand pounds. With some exceptions, as you may have guessed, this group already has some of its equipment. This includes the mixer and instruments that we've been using to perform live. The challenge now is to make this group 100% self-sustained. I'm thinking of making a series with videos diving deep into each category as I buy these items for my vocal group. I've provided links in the description below to all the gear in this video, so if there's anything you found interesting, you can check it out. Stay safe and thanks for watching.